Hello everyone, VJZ30 here, back with another how to play. Today we're looking at how to play modern art of a card game. I would be remiss to not point out that this, uh, first of all, is a reprint uh, of an older version. It's by Simon, or maybe Come On. <laughs> uh, it's for ages 14 and up. It is two to five players. I get to see some of the stuff you get with it. 95 artwork cards, 5 artist cards, some tokens, player A, there's actually a pencil and a pad that comes with it for scoring. There is one and only one reference card. I always think it's best to have at least a couple. One per player is always good, but it is what it is. These are the tokens you get. You get some that are twos. I'll get into why they have those ones. And then you got these ones that are Kind of the dollars, basically. And they're one, two, and three dollars. And you got a first player token, which isn't even really needed. It's all about modern artwork, and it's about set collecting. Now, there's an older version, as I was mentioning, that is... It also involves cards. And by the way, this is by Ryan Kinichi again, just like when I looked at before, which was um, Medici, the card game, and previous other games I've looked at from him. But that was a couple weeks ago, a week ago. Anyways, uh, there is an older version. But again, like Medici, it involves a lot of auctioning and bidding. And there's actually multiple different types of bidding you can do, which is pretty interesting. And I thought about it, but I kind of like this version. And so we'll get to it. By the way, the box has a nice magnetic opening thing. And beautiful artwork on the inside, I suppose. I mean, if you like that, it's modern art. <laughs> Not everyone's cup of tea. So you get these five cards representing different artists. You got Denise Jillian Tan. It's double-sided, by the way. Wagner Kuroya. Hopefully that's pronounced correctly. Tech. Nicolas Sanchez. And Mariana Martinez. Buttons. And we're going to line those up here, set them up, and I'm going to push them out this way a bit more. Now, the numbers you see on these cards, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, that tells you how many cards there is of each artist in this game, as well as the color. So all the tech ones are green, and there's 19, as an example. And the numbers are also used for a tiebreaker, of a lesser amount will always break a tie. So if there happens to be a tie between Denise Jillian Tan and Tech, the one that has less, Denise Jillian Tan, breaks the tie. And I'll talk about more about that in a bit. I'm going to put all these off to the side here. Put the scoring away. The cards are a very nice big size. They're, you know, they're definitely not poker size. They're bigger and nice in Boston living fitness. And they got all sorts of... Different pieces of artwork on here with different names for them. There's also some special cards with special abilities as indicated on here. And I will explain them to the best of my ability. I believe that is the five. So... What you're going to be doing is each player is going to get a, a hand of cards. We'll go through that. And when it's your turn, you're going to be putting down a card for a different artist. And you're going to keep playing cards down until there is a certain amount of artworks from any one artist that have been played. So in this case, it says here, round roll, and when, if it's three to five players, six artworks have been played from one artist. So if six Pieces of art from Sanchez have been played. The round ends. For two players, it's five artworks each. And again, we'll go over that in a bit. And on this side, it tells you how many cards each player is going to get for each round. If you're doing three to five players, the fourth round, you're not going to get any more cards. Zero cards. And then the rest of the rounds, you're getting some cards. Again, we'll uh, go over all that in the scoring. So, if I play 
put down an art card like this one that has this symbol on it, that means I get to draw one card from the deck and put it into my hand. If I play a card like this, that has this two card symbol, that means I can play two cards from the same artist face up. If I play a card like this that has this symbol, that means I get to play one card face up and one card face down. And this one, when you play this one, it has to be from the same artist when you're playing them two cards face up. But when you're playing one card face up and one card face down, it can be anything. So I can put down this Wagner one instead. And that'll be revealed later. This card here has a two symbol. This is where these two tokens come into play. So if I play this card down, let's say I play it here onto my collection, I now get to put this on any one of these artist cards for extra points. And it, it may not take effect this round, it might take effect next round, but let's just say I decide to put it on, on the sand says for later. It might not score anything this round, but maybe later. And then lastly, there's this card that has these arrows on it. If I play this, this means that all players will display one artwork immediately. So I get to, I play this, now everyone else is going to get to play a card as well. So those are those special cards. And we'll go through a quick round here. So... Each player, and we're going to do two players. Each player is going to get 13 cards to start off with. And we'll put this aside. And we'll, we'll start. So I'm going to play... Let's say I play this card, which allows me to play another one, and I'm going to put that right there. My opponent's going to look at his card. And remember, as soon as we have, it's two players, so as soon as we have five artworks from any one artist, the round ends. So, so I look at his cards. He says, you know what, I'm going to play this one, and I'm going to take one of these two tokens, and I'm going to put it on... Let's just say he puts it on green. <laughs> Goes back to me. And I'm going to play this card, which allows me to play another one face down. So I'm going to play a Mariana Martins. Secretly, I'm going to keep these separate as much as possible. And of course, whoever's the first player can get this token. It's not really that important. And you can pretty much determine who you want to be the first player. However he wants. So now it's going to come back to this guy. He says, you know what, I'm going to put down a green one. Come back to me. I'm going to play down a green one myself. Now because it's got the arrows, he gets to play a card as a bonus. So he says, you know what, I'm going to play another green one. And then it's his turn and he's going to play, let's say he plays a blue one. Martins. Now it comes back to me, and I'm going to play this one, and I'm going to put a two token on, let's say I put it on the yellow. It comes back to this guy, he says, you know what, I'm going to put down a Sanchez, there's not a whole lot of those, it comes back to me, I also play a Sanchez, and then it comes back to this player, he says, you know what, let's do a uh let's do a Sanchez, why not? And then I'm going to play another one of these. Again, it's got the arrows, that means he gets to play cards, additional card. So he's gonna play this one and then let's say he plays another. Ah, Sanchez, why not? And then he comes back to me, and I decide, let's end this round. I play the Mariana 
Martins. So now there's five of the Mariana Martins. The round ends. And now we're going to get on to the scoring. So what we're going to do, uh, as per this, is we're going to take these tokens and place them on who has the most cards out there, the most value, the most displayed artworks. So Mariana Martins has the most displayed artworks, and actually I'm going to reveal this one as well. Mariana Martins has the most displayed artwork. Let's get She's going to get the free value. Next up, let's see, we got three. We got four of the Sanchez. That's going to get the two value. And then the last one's going to get the one value, the third most. But there is, from what I can tell, a tie. And this wasn't intentional, but it worked out that way. We got three of the Denise Tans, and we got three of the Tex. So this is where the tiebreaker comes in. Which one has the lowest amount? The Denise Tan. So she's going to get the one value. And these cards are going to be the ones scored in this round. The ones with the tokens on them. The one, two, and the three. Now, each player may display one additional artwork for each leading artist that they have. So I can play one more Sanchez. And I don't have and, and I can play one more of these. I do not have any more of the Marianas. So you're allowed to add one more card for each of the artists that are going to score. And this guy's going to do the same thing. He's going to play a Mariana and he's going to play a Denise Tan. And now you're going to get points that you're going to write down on the score sheet based on the value. So the, the Mariana Martins is three points for each one. So three, 15 points as I throw away the notepad. It isn't one thing, it's another thing. So, I get, you're going to have, again, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 points. I'm going to have 15 points, 3 points each for the Martins. Uh, I'm going to have one, two, three, four points for the Sanchez. And three points for this one. So I believe I have 22 points. I'm going to write that down there for the first round. And then give you point four rounds. And then uh, this player, he has six for the Mariana. Another six for these, so that's 12. 14 points. Now, I know you're wondering where these ones come into play. Well, these ones come into play later on. So, we're going to continue playing. For the second round, we're going to be getting another six cards each for two players. From the draw deck, which is good because I've only got a couple of cards left. And all these are going to be... Put aside, I believe they're out of the game, if I recall correctly. <laughs> I should probably verify that. Oh, and I forgot one. I, I always forget something. <laughs> I always forget something, don't I? And I even watched the, uh, you know, I even did some prep work for this, but I still forgot something. And that is, there is a, an influence card that I forgot to mention. That's, I also did not see that mentioned here. But, you're also going to flip over one card from the top of the deck as an influence card. And that can be added onto any set. So in this case, it didn't matter. It just makes... The only difference, actually, is that it would make the tech the number two. Or the number three, actually. So the tech actually should have gotten that. Instead, 
So these should have been the scoring cards. I forgot about that. I apologize. <laughs> So yeah, when you start the game, you're going to lay these cards out, you're going to deal each player the cards as specified, and you're going to flip the top card of the deck over as the influence card. In this case, it's a tech. And that counts as part of a display. So if there had been five techs, or if I had played two techs and he played two techs as an example, that would have ended for round and... And in this case, you know, if players had any more techs, they could have added them as well. And then you're going to score them. And then, you know, looking at this, so again, the Mariana, uh, three, five, six, seven, it still gets the free token. Sanchez has five, it has the second most, it's going to get that two token. But because we have this tech, it has four, so it has more. Well, actually, sorry, Jillian Tan has five as well. So, actually, it doesn't change anything. Jillian Tan, my bad. Jillian Tan still has the most. It doesn't actually change anything. But if the tech had more, then it would have changed things. So, anyways, once the round is over, just remember you got to have an influence card, and that counts as part of the display. But once the round is over, you're going to get rid of all these cards. Not figuratively, just... Or not literally, just figuratively get them out of the way and you're going to go again so you're going to do the same thing playing cards get the sets and this one get to play a second card this one I get to play a second card Oops, wrong player <laughs> uh, and you're going to keep doing that until somebody gets and I forgot the influence card again until, you know, one of these hits that magical number, which again is five artworks for two players. I'll just quickly simulate this, hopefully. <laughs> um, okay, there's four of those. Five. So now we got five again. We're going to stop. That's the second round. I just wanted to do that because I wanted to show you some stuff. So again, Denise Jillian Tan is going to get the number three because she has the most. Uh, oh, and each player is going to be able to add one to the scoring card as well. We'll do that. Uh, there's three of the Wagners and three of the Sanchez. The Wagner is going to be number two and the Sanchez is going to be number three. And this guy have any more of the, he does not. Have any yellow, orange, or red? And I mean, I this guy can play this one now. He has no cards in his hand, which isn't great. And we could always take these non scoring ones out of the way so they don't get mixed up. And you're going to score the points again. Now we got more tokens. So this one now has four, it's worth four points each. This one has four because it has this two token, it's also worth four points each. And this one has three, so it's worth three points each. And each round, you're going to potentially be adding more tokens to the cards depending on which one, it, which ones are played. And whoever has the most points at the end of four rounds wins the game. Of course, if there's ties, I'm pretty sure there's ways to break the ties. <laughs> It just says highest score wins. There's actually information as well on all the different artists, which is awesome. I think it's a pretty cool game. I like that. You know, I like that you add up more and more points as you go. And you're going to have less and less cards to play with as well. Unless you play smartly. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice cards, good quality cards, nice tokens. You got no complaints. I like it. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. That is modern art. A card game and we'll see you next time more thanks for watching and i apologize about forgetting about the influence card it's easy to forget <laughs> see ya